welcome back to the Mysterious Show. Here I have with me my lovely co-host, Lady T. In the house. <laughs> and I have Painted Swag, better known as Maria Aponte. Hi. Okay. Painted Swag. Yes. I'm loving this already. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. How are it. you? Good. A little nervous, <laughs> oh, but I'm good. Nervous. We both can't be. I'm good. I'm happy to be alive. <laughs> Welcome to the Mysteria Show. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for having me. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming out. Here. We appreciate you for coming out. Now, she is hosting her first fashion show. When is it going to be? Um, it's actually going to be this Saturday um, at Studio 504. Okay. Um, it's going to be a big production. It's not going to be a fashion show. It's going to be a production. I'm going to have performers um, from singers, dancers, poets. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. A Painted Winter. Yes, A Painted, a winter. painted winter. This Saturday, January 16th at Studio 504. Doors open up at 6. Show starts at 8 o'clock. Be there because you will miss a great show. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, what was it like? How long have you been into fashion? Um, I've had my clothing line for about four years, um, but I was just doing kids' clothes, like making tutus and stuff. And then my mom <laughs> forced me into doing a, fas <laughs> um, a fashion show, Fashion Designers <laughs> Expo, and um, they needed one of the models dropped out, and the owner needed a an adult model with an, I mean, a, a model with an, a, I'm sorry, a designer with an adult line. And mm -hmm. she asked me to do it. And I was like, I don't do adult clothes. And both of them kind of forced me into it. And when I did it, I got so, like, so many reviews and people were going crazy over it. So I kind of got pushed into it. Um, I just actually learned how to use a sewing machine in March. I had my, line, my clothing line for four years, but I did everything by hand. Oh, wow. So when prom oh. season came, I learned how to use a sewing machine. And it made things a lot easier for me. <laughs> a lot easier. That's pretty much. So what inspired you to actually pursue fashion as a career? Um, actually, I, I, I like to create things that, um, that don't exist. In our, like things that exist in your mind, but you don't really find in the stores. Oh so God. if you can think it, I can make it. Um, but also... God inspired me. Um, I'm actually pushing my gospel collection. Um, it's an inspirational line to show people that you can believe in God and have swag, you know? And that's why my clothing line is called Painted Swag because it's, it, you know, it's distinctive versatility and it shows everyone that you can be yourself. Like, I'm different, I'm weird, and people tell me that I'm weird all the time, but that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I wanted to actually get into the industry and making clothes so I can start making my own clothes and promote my gospel line to another level. And I just want to um, compliment you on a piece that I saw that you made for Stitches. And I didn't know that you actually made it, the white cape dress. Yeah, I actually <laughs> made that in four hours. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was very And pretty. that was hand stitch? Oh, yes. Oh, From wow. the appliques and everything. Um, it was actually supposed to be a dress. But um, she's very spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. so she was mm -hmm. like, oh, it's kind of short. So the last <laughs> maybe hour, I was like, I can make some pants for you. <laughs> so I made her pants, and it turned out to be amazing, and she wow. loved it. And yeah. now it's in the video, and I'm like, ah, I'm so excited <laughs> about it. That is so, wonderful. Yeah. So um, most of your models have to be a size zero or one or no. two because – you will need more than four hours for me, <laughs> but I have some ideas, and I want to be able to be able to, you know, rip your wear, okay? And I'm asking because before we even started the interview, guys, I asked her, "Do she do thongs or bikinis?" She's like, "No, I do for thongs the Lord. for a gospel collection." I can't explain that to Jesus. But I'm not gonna explain that to God. But he didn't want all of us to just have to wear bloomers all the time. I don't think he wants to wear thongs either. Okay, well, I'm gonna want you to make me some a little bit sexy. Thank you, Father. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just so proud of you. The last time I saw you, we were at a museum, and she didn't model. She didn't perform, guys. I was looking for her to do something, but she was blinged out in her white <laughs> swag in that museum. Okay. <laughs> Thank and you. and I have to give a quick shout out to Sonny Morrison of First Class Productions because that's how I was invited and met the guys and everything. So I, and when I met her, she was just phenomenal, and I had no idea. 
you had all of this <laughs> embodied in this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Y'all look at us. Okay, we got red, blonde, and, and yes. dirty blonde on you. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Fleek or God didn't mean for us to be raggedy. She gonna make me some thong. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> I just love your style. Thank and you. and every time she talk, this baby started talking about the Lord and her line, and she just glow. Okay, she just I pop. God. I love God. Um, as far as like my models having mm -hmm. to be a size zero. That's actually one of the things that I push for in my clothing line. And as far as like my fashion show on Saturday, I literally pick the models that you would never think. Okay. And I took, I, I had two rehearsals. I'm going to do another rehearsal before the show begins. And I have my brand, my brand ambassadors pretty much show them how I want them to walk. So just because you're four feet or you're a okay. size 15 don't mean you, you can't model. So my brand ambassadors pretty much molded them mm -hmm. into who, like how I would want them to walk to present themselves. And they were like, everybody's like super excited. As a matter of fact, it's not even Saturday and my phone is like blowing up. And I'm like, guys, that please. That is a good sign. <laughs> That's a so, good. And I love the fact that you take regular people. So yeah. I can look at your fashion show yeah. and I can pick something that yeah. I feel you comfortable. Yeah, I want it to be more aside. realistic. I want it to be yeah. more realistic. I don't, I don't like, I mean, my brand ambassadors, they are a size zero. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not my brand ambassadors because they're skinny. They're my brand ambassadors because they're loyal to me. Right, and right, no right. matter what time of the day I call them, they show up for me. Right. No matter how far I am, they show up. And I, wanted, I want to show them that you don't have to be a size zero and still strut because I have some plus size models that when you guys come to the show on su Saturday, you guys are going to oh, be wow. like, you know, you know, them hips are twirling and you like, you, you know, know what? you about to make me buy a new piece of hair. <laughs> okay. I'll well, be there on Saturday with what? your new piece. <laughs> okay. Now, I cannot wait. Um, as far as like how we can get your clothing. Do you have it set up yet to where we can contact you and, you know, right. order pieces how or... Um, I do a lot of custom clothes, okay. um, mm -hmm. like weddings, proms, things, birthdays, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Um, but what I, what I, what, what I will have on my website after the fashion show, okay. um, is my gospel collection. Mm -hmm. I will have things small, medium, large, extra large, okay. because that's really what I'm focusing on right now. But like I said, if you can think it, I can make you it. You can make so it. So I do everything from destroyed denim to bling out shoes to I even do hair. I style models. I like I don't limit myself at all. And okay. right now I'm working towards my men collection. So I'm I'm getting more into the tuxedo suits and the oh, wow. the I, I don't want to limit myself. Yeah. I don't I want any customer to be able to walk through my door and say, Hey, I want this and I say, Well, you know what? I got you. This girl is like a tattoo artist on fabric, okay? <laughs> Just tell her what you want, and she will make it happen. I am so excited about Saturday. Yeah, okay, excited. tell us I'm again. Nervous. Let Somebody us know again excited. where we got to go. Um, Studio 504, Miami Gardens. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to promote the office, but no, it's okay. by the yeah. office and the warehouses. That's where everyone knows the Yes, yes, okay. it's back um, by the warehouses. Y'all know back when y'all were booing me. Y'all know how to get back over there. Okay, we know where that place <laughs> and is. And the okay. show starts at 6 o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. From 6 to 8 o'clock, I'm going to have um, all of the guests mingling. Um, mm -hmm. eating, I have food vendors, I have treat vendors, I have Very bar good. vendors, pretty much. And, and I'm doing it like that for a reason, because a lot of the times we go out, we go to fashion shows, we mm -hmm. go to events, and we don't even know that we're sorry, we're sitting next to someone that is, you know, a, a business owner, or right. like, you know, and somebody right. that we wouldn't necessarily Networking. bump shoulders with. There exactly, and that's what I want, because if my vendors are taking their time to be a part of my show, I want people to know who they are, instead of walking by and saying, Oh, okay, well, you make this. Well, let right. me go watch the show. Right, right, So right. you're forced to stay in a room for two hours <laughs> and know who's standing next to you. Right. That is wonderful. That's because, great. and people, when you come out, please, please support the vendors. The vendors are people that's helping this baby get her product out there, okay? When we was talking about at the museum, the all-white, okay, I went from table to table to table yeah, to they table. Had a lot of vendors. They had a lot of vendors. I got earrings and coffee and whatever. I don't know what your people going to have, but I'm going to have a few dollars for them. <laughs> I'm definitely wanting to see this show. So, guys, you guys have to come out and make this thing pop. Is there a price? And if so, how much? 
Okay, that's what I wanted to get into. Yeah, um, let's... The regular seating is um, $15. Okay. Um, VIP is $45. And what comes with the VIP is um, I have a personal chef that's going to be handing out hors d'oeuvres okay. um, to the guests. I have a personal bartender um, that's going to be handing out um, his specialty drinks. Um, it's going to be like the whole... I, I even have a, a person that's going to be serving treats. So it's oh, going to be the wow. whole VIP experience. No one's going to be able to... Be in the VIP unless they have a wristband. Right. Um, you're going to have complimentary wine, complimentary champagne. That's just strictly for the VIP section. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if I told you guys the cause, but the purpose of the fashion show is, is pretty much a fundraising event to bring people out to raise money for cancer patients. Oh, wow. And what we're doing is Aww. all of the proceeds that we're receiving from donations to sponsors to the vendors, so the people purchasing the tickets, we're taking the proceeds and we're cutting personal checks to people that need assistance with medications and treatments Aww. and stuff like that. And it's some people that don't even need help with treatments, mm -hmm. but yeah. they don't have groceries. Mm -hmm. So that's right. why I'm writing right. them personal checks so that so they, they can, can cash do it. what they need exactly. to do. Exactly. Oh, I wow. don't want to limit you because you might need to pay your light bill. And I mean, oh, granted, I this, this is my first show, but you know, with God... I, I hope to pack it out. Ball, I hope girl. to pack it out and be able to donate to as many people. I'm going to have a list when you come through the door. You can write down um, if you know somebody that has cancer or that had cancer and that needs assistance. And we're going to contact them, whether it's $50, $100, whatever we can donate, we're mm -hmm. going to donate to them. That Perfect. is wonderful. That That's is excellent. so wonderful, Drea. We have to oh, make no. this happen. No, okay. no, I will be there. Um, well, I, I will perform, oh, yeah. but I still want to come. Look, she coming. Drea, I'll be there. Okay. Drea's the media sponsor. You, you, know. you better Drea's not for the dress cause. her. And don't get me a large. <laughs> Whatever you give her in the small, you get me one I in the extra. I got you. you. Okay. It's and, not going to be a thong, though. Okay, well, I'll buy some, th some bloomers somewhere else. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is if I can't make it, I still want to help with the cause. So I'll make sure that you have the 45 for whatever, even if we want to give somebody a, a chance to come because I have to perform. But I just love your spirit. I Thank love you. your whole concept. Thank I you. love her whole idea. Guys, you guys have got to come out. You don't need $45. Just get the $15 and still go eat and sit down and watch your baby clothes. Okay, we can do that. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank yes. you so yes, much. Yes, we have to, we have to make this happen, guys. So oh I like to God. thank you for coming out to the show. Wait, say it again. Painted faces, painted waves. Painted <laughs> swag. Painted swag. Painted swag. Oh, <laughs> say it, say it, say it, right? It's painted swag, guys. And Please. the show is called A Painted Winter. Yes. Damn. Tell them where they can follow you at. And um, you can follow me on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Everything is painted swag. I try not to make anything complicated. You can even find me on LinkedIn. And my website is www.paintedswag.com. Perfect. She does so stay everything, tuned guys. And everything. be sure to come out and support her stay event at Studio 504 this Saturday. The and then stay tuned Bloomers. so you can support her gospel clothing line as well. Um, she has some big things in store, and I just I want to give you, you know, Saturday support. Saturday the 16th, 6 o'clock. Be there, yeah. guys. Warehouse. Be there, please. Yeah. It's the, the proceeds are not going to me. It's going to the cancer patients. So yeah. I don't want you to think that it's going to be donated to us. And I actually have two tributes that night. One is a little girl that really touched my spirit. She had cancer and she had four um, surgeries mm -hmm. and her mom had a stroke mm -hmm. and um, her mom is um, going blind. So I wow. want to personally donate some money to her right. because it really touched my spirit. And also to Andrea Nugent, she just passed away a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and she was very well known from um, Bionic Woman and um, she had cancer four times. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Bionic, Bionic Girls. Mm -hmm. um, she had cancer four times, and she was a firm believer in God, and she made it past. Well, yes. she didn't make it past the fourth time, but she made it to the fourth she, time. She inspired a lot of people. Um, so I'm going to have a tribute I, for her as I, well. Yeah, that is wonderful. Wow. So i like to thank you for coming out to the show once no, again. You. And whenever you feel, you know, the need to come back and promote any of your pieces or whatever you're working on, any um, events that you have going on, feel free. I appreciate it. I hope you guys can have me back. <laughs> you coming back, girl. So let me take my panties. Okay. Guys, make sure. if that's the case, I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday the 16th. We January got 16th. you.
<laughs> okay, I'd like to thank you all for staying tuned. Stay thank tuned, you. and we're going to come back and close out. Yes! Have a good night.